Hello guys, this is Mario from the Revolution Cafe. How are you guys doing today? Today, I am going to show you how to permanently region unlock your Wii U to play Japanese, European, or North America games all in one of your systems. So, what you need is, you need to have a Mocha CFW, you gotta have a modded Wii U, and also you gotta have an FTPU Everywhere app. So I'll leave those link in those apps in the link in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. So go let's go to my username. And then Hold on, I just have to wait. And then just go to your homebrew launcher. Because this is why you need a model Wii U for this. So go to the homebrew launcher. And then, scroll to, it says Mocha CFW. This is the one you need to launch that first before you go to FTPU everywhere. Because if you don't, it will not, it will not, you'll not be able to access all your files when you do browsing with FTP. So you must have Mocha CFW installed to your homebrew launcher. All right, so let's launch this. Okay, so if you see those settings, like this that I have, leave it like that, and then just press A on your Wii U gamepad. So hit A, and then it will re reboot back to your Wii U menu. And then you have to go back to your homebrew launcher to launch FTPU. So you just have to wait for that. I'll give it a quick second. Alrighty guys, we're back at that Wii U menu. So now you have to do is go to your um your go back to your homebrew launcher, and then now you have to go to FTPU everywhere app, and I will show you in a moment. And there we go. So now go to this app, load it up, FTPU everywhere. I'll put that link in the description. And also, you see the bottom left corner. It says FTPU v four ut is listening on. 10.00.200 uh, column 21. So as you can see that, that is your local IP. This is not your public IP, so you should be fine. So and that number is varied to every user, like to every router and everything. It's different from everybody. So, so make sure you write that down, the IP address and also the little column, the 21 that sits on my screen. Make sure you write that as well. And then we got to switch to the PC. And now we're in the PC now. So as you can see right here, 10.00200, that's, that's only for my local IP. It may say different on yours. And also for the last two numbers on the right that's shown on the gamepad, mine says 21, but yours should say differently as well. So if you got those down um, at TPU, then you don't also don't need to worry about the username and password. So that's nothing to worry about. Now, now just click on quick connect and it will connect to your directory to your Wii U file system. Now at the Wii U file system, so before we go browse the Wii U file system, first on the left side of the screen, it says if you see my directory for my local directory for my computer, make sure you find an empty folder that you want to find. So if you can find it pretty easily on your downloads or whatever folder safe to, to edit. The, the the file we have to do. So now, go on storage underscore SLC, go on config, and then double click sif underscore prod.xml, click on that, and this will download to your local computer where it's stored. So mine's under, my store on documents and FileZilla. Your may, yours may store differently depending on where you put it. So now, since this is already downloaded, now go on your start menu. Right now, Windows running Windows 11. So open up Notepad++. I recommend that program you added its files like that. So now, so let me clear these two up. So now, so now we're gonna find the file where I store that. So again, I store it in Documents and FileZilla. 
and there's my file right there. So do that. Now, so this is the critical part. You got to pay attention just really, really carefully. On line six, right here, if it says game region, all the way to the right, if you see the number right here, between 510 and game region, right here. So if it's your number saying one, that's from Japan. If you see two, that's from the United States and North America. If you see four, that is from Europe. So this digit right here says 119. If you see any other number, please type in 119. Exactly the number. Because if you put the, the incorrect number, you will break your Wii U and then you probably will not come back to life. Or you will never bring your Wii U back to life again. So make sure you type the exact number what I type right here. 111 on line 6 after 510. I mean between 510 and game region. Make sure you guys do that. So when you're done with that, make sure file and then click on save. But I, didn't, I don't have that save object because I haven't edited it yet. So I already did that before. So please type in 119. And that's it, nothing else. So now, since the file is still there, drag that file and place it in your Wii U storage as underscore SLC and then config folder. Drag that up. Make sure you override it. Click OK. And that's it. So now, the computer part is all done. So now back to the Wii U. All right, so on here, press the home button. And then turn off your Wii U by pressing the power button. Alrighty guys, so, so now we're at the camera. So that's to prove it to you. So I have two discs right here. I have the Japanese new Super Luigi U for the Wii U and also Mario Kart 8. This is from the United States, the North American version. As you can see, this is for so far Americas only. And the other ones are Japan. You can tell by Japanese letters. So, let me log in to my Wii U. Uh, so, give me, let me get the Mario Kart Wii disc out first. Bloop. Alright, get that out. So first, we're going to start with the North American Mario Kart 8 version. Let's enter that in. And this will work. Uh, trust me, guys. This will work. As you can see, Mario Kart 8. Launch it up. There you go. That's working. So now, this is going to load up. So just to prove it to you guys, I'm not faking it. This is not a fake. So that's why I have a camera and a capture card running at the same time. So... So that is Mario Kart 8 the lock I mean Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. So now, since I can go home yet, so I just have to wait. And yes, my 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 disc is kinda dirty. Uh, whoopsies. <laughs> Alright, read it read it out, read it out, so I can play the Japanese disc. Mario Kart! There you go. Close software. Alright. So now eject the Mario Kart 8. The North American version of it. Let's get that out. Bloop. All right. So now, new Super Luigi U Japanese version. As you can see, it's all Japanese letters. So let's put that in. Just to prove it to you guys, this is raw footage. This is raw. No edits, nothing for this part. Launch that up. There you go, new Super Luigi U. This is running. There you go, Japanese letters, as you can see on the capture card. And there you go. So there you go, guys. Uh-oh. Sorry, that's my alarm clock. So yeah, so that is the Japanese version of new Super Luigi U. So yeah, so. That's it guys, there you go, there you have it.
Now you have a region unlocked Wii U that can play any titles from any regions. So, I hope you like it guys, so I try my best to give this tutorial, so thank you all for watching. I hope you like it, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.